There's no way that it's this bad naturally. Yeah. Because we can be. Yeah, we've seen a lot of really horrible movies and they're nowhere near this bad. Yeah. Like this is just another level. There's bad and then there's things bad. Yeah. Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking Wise Crackin' Bud's Rice Lager. Amazing Grace. <laughs> Come sit on my face. Don't make me cry. I need your pie. Today we're gonna bring to <laughs> Today we're gonna bring to you 1989's Things. This was a request from one of our patrons on Patreon, Joshua. Things is a Canadian independent horror movie that went straight to video in 1989. It is directed by, written by, and starring Andrew Jordan and Barry Gillis. And it stars porn star Amber Lynn. How they got her in this movie yeah. beats the hell out of me. And we gotta say too, before we get into this, that this is one of the worst, worst horror movies ever made. Got a cult following for being the worst movie ever made. <laughs> so is it so bad that it's bad or so bad that it's good? Is it trash or treasure? We're gonna find out. Things starts off with this, this guy's in this basement and there's this woman with this devil mask on and this really shitty <laughs> music playing. It's like, the demo song on a fucking 80s Yamaha Porta sound keyboard or something. <laughs> I want you to have my baby. Darling, I want you to have my baby. Pulls this baby out that's in this kind of pram thing and coochie, 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 <laughs> coochie. Where's the coo? You're, you're, you're supposed to be coochie coo, not just all coochie. Goddamn idiot. <laughs> He wakes up and he's just sleeping on the couch and that ended up being like a, a nightmare. Takes out these pills and takes it to his wife, we guess, who is sick in bed. Visually's the pain. I'm feeling better already. That's very good. Then it goes to these really <laughs> shitty opening credits, these sick 3D looking font. <laughs> that gray and gold, you know, style. Got those boxy letters oh, and shit. Man. Oh. These opening credits just shows these shitty parts of like Ontario, yeah. like these... train yards and <laughs> Yeah, they're all driving through like these back roads <laughs> yeah. and shit. We then get introduced to Don and Fred. When they pull up and they get out of the car, they're all telling the guy to fuck off <laughs> and fuck you! Go to hell! And they're not... <laughs> you asshole! Don is Doug's brother, and they're going to Doug's house to kind of surprise him. No one's answering. They, well, if no one answers, we're just gonna break in. <laughs> the door is just open, and they go in, go to the kitchen, and just start looking around. And do oh, you think Doug will mind if we have one of his beers? Oh yeah, I'm his brother. And they open the freezer for some reason. Yeah. They pull out this tape recorder and this book <laughs> that's in the freezer. <laughs> Play it and it's all this wow, wow, wow. All this shitty noise. Weird it's noise. just some guy with, <laughs> yelling into a mic with the gain turned yeah. up super high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this book is written by Alistair Crowley. Oh my god. Oh, the diagrams are so sick. Then Doug shows up out of nowhere, turns off the tape recorder. Susan's trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Then it cuts to these weird people, like, torturing this guy and, yeah, like... you don't know who the guy is. Or who, who, or who these people are, and they're, like, ripping out his eyeball and put his hand in, like, one of those paper cutters and cut off his hand. <laughs> Orderly guys come in with, like, a stretcher with this corpse, and then this guy pulls up this fucking head. He's like... <laughs> And then that's it! Cuts back to Don and Fred. They're looking around for like food. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. What's mm. near? Mm. <laughs> mm. 
It cuts in between that Amber Lynn doing a news segment. Horribly in front of a bunch of old video equipment and the <laughs> shitty TV. Reading off a teleprompter just like way over there. Yeah. And then it cuts back. Didn't you dorks bring any food? Well, let's make some sandwiches. These shitty looking sandwiches. <laughs> These horrible sandwiches. Puts a bug in one of the sandwiches. <laughs> well, I'll usually spice up my sandwiches with a little bit more than just that. But if long as you liked it, I love it. it. Mm. He goes to check on his wife. Then he comes out of the room. He's like, Susan's sick. Then she like gives birth to this weird bug thing. <laughs> it's like all crawling around with these shitty arms on it. Bug thing ends up eating the dog. You see like blood splatter on the wall. They do more sitting around. <laughs> they sit around and then that Fred guy's all just gone. Yeah, he's just gone. He's like, oh, he must have disappeared into the third, fourth, fifth dimension. And the lights go out. So they gotta get the flashlight. They spend tons of time just simply walking around looking at the ceiling. Yeah, and <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and like the brothers all, hey, 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 hey. He's just laughing for no reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to scare his brother and he's got to take a piss and one of them goes in and there's one in the toilet he comes out and then they both go into the basement and start fighting like all those bug things <laughs> it's his brother in the, in the head with the hammer yeah. <laughs> are you all right he starts killing all those bugs he puts a new breaker in the breaker panel fuses he or, puts like <laughs> all of them though it shows him replace like all the <laughs> Oh, that's super long as oh. he's replacing the fuse. <laughs> oh. His brother's fingers get bitten off by one of those monsters and they gotta cauterize the, the wound. Oh. 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 Give me back my hand! <laughs> super evil dead too. <laughs> then that Fred guy shows up out of nowhere with a chainsaw. I thought he was gone. Yeah, me too. Like, it just <laughs> suddenly he's back again with the chainsaw. Like, yeah. He's gone for the almost the whole movie. <laughs> so then he starts destroying all those bug things. And then Dr. Lucas shows up. He's like, you're responsible for all this? There's hundreds of creatures around this goddamn hell hall. All because of you. Do you want to see some blood? So if you want to see what happens with Don and Fred and Dr. Lucas... Yeah. I'm not a killer! Your experiment went wrong! Finish watching the masterpiece... <laughs> things. You gotta believe me, you gotta believe me, we even killed a bunch of them! Ah, you're a real loony too! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> That'll lead us to the treasure of things. We gotta give an A for effort, right? <laughs> they... <laughs> He you really can, tried. You can tell a lot of effort was put into this. You know, these guys tried really hard yeah. to make a horror movie on 8mm film <laughs> in some random house with no budget. Mm -hmm. And we're still talking about it today. That's that's true, so yeah. So that says something. It did leave some kind of impression about how <laughs> awful it really is. The effects actually for a super low budget, like negative, I'm not going to say low budget, a negative budget movie yeah, yeah. is actually pretty good. Like the bugs actually don't look that bad. Like this was before the days of Speared Halloween. Yeah. You just go and buy some cool looking prop and maybe touch it up a bit and make it your own. But no, they probably built these things from scratch. Yeah, they look decent for what it is. Yeah. And like the gore is pretty good too. Like this movie actually is pretty bloody. Whoever's house they filmed this in, <laughs> they like wrecked it. They like destroyed this. The blood everywhere, you know? Yeah. All that shitty old furniture from like the 70s, like it was probably all they got out at the Goodwill or something just to wreck it. You yeah, know? yeah. That's effort, you know? They, they... They put in the, the effort to destroy things, at least. <laughs> That's true. And the fact <laughs> that they managed to get, you know, a somewhat well-known porn star, too, for this, Amber Lynn. To sit in front of some random tech equipment yeah. and pretend to be a <laughs> TV host. She was probably the biggest part of the budget. The music isn't bad either, you know? 
Um, besides some of those really like shitty generic parts that we mentioned, right? The, the demo, pre... the demo song, <laughs> yeah. and the keyboard. The uh, some of the other like piano stuff that they come up with is actually not bad. And the main theme, yeah, it's played horribly, <laughs> but it's a good like the the melody is good, and it yeah. actually does get stuck in your head like a horror movie theme should. Yeah, you know? I didn't mind it. Again, you can tell it was recorded on some shitty little four track tape recorder in the mm -hmm. worst way, but at least it's kind of memorable. Yeah, you know? and they kind of there's a few tracks in this too. Satan War. Where they only have one song. One ding, ding, ding. <laughs> they keep playing it throughout the whole movie. So it becomes a joke. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But in this, it's like there's a few tracks that kind of spreads everything out. Rotate throughout the movie, yeah. Yeah, so nothing really gets too comical with the music. Yeah. Until... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the last piece of treasure we have to mention is that the movie is at least entertaining mm. in its badness. <laughs> like, it, you can't look away. It's like a fucking car crash. Yeah. It's like watching fail videos on fucking YouTube. You just... You have to see more of the badness yeah. to get more entertainment value out of this thing. <laughs> and I'd be damned if you don't laugh your ass off. So at least it's gut-wrenchingly funny in the wrong way. That's right, yeah. <laughs> but that's what that's a real question because was it done like that by accident or was it done like that on purpose? It's <clears throat> that should be an episode in Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. If you know the answer, call into our hotline. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Stack yeah. doing the narration. <laughs> That'll bring us to the trash of things. And do we have a laundry list? <laughs> One of the first things that you'll notice, because it's a visual thing, is the fact that the footage is all blurry for the most part. It's all out of focus. Out of focus, framed poorly, like people's half of their face is in the frame. and <laughs> It's too zoomed in. Like, you get no scope of anything, so you're all constantly wondering where they're even at, like, in the house. Like... Well, you can tell that no one was behind the camera actually <laughs> framing it because there was two, three guys in the movie and, like, they had to guess where they were in the frame and everything. <laughs> <laughs> guys, take five minutes. <laughs> oh. So, yes, the production value is piss poor, <laughs> to say the least. That could have been solved with just a little bit more effort, though. Could have been solved with someone being behind the camera, framing the shots yeah. to make sure people's heads are in the shot. And it's fucking, <laughs> it's not blurry. Because it's shot on Super 8, they didn't record sound on set. Well, you couldn't. Yeah. Well, you could, but you'd have to sync it up later. So I guess they were too lazy for that. <laughs> and just ADR'd. The whole movie after the fact, all the dialogue, sound effects, all that stuff done in a studio after. The actors dubbing their own dialogue is horrendous. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't line up. It's like they're ad-libbing their lines. Oh, joke's on you. Hey, did you hear that? Like, there's that scene when that Dr. Lucas shows up. And, like, he's in the footage, he's all laughing after he delivers lines, yeah. but, like, the, the audio doesn't follow that, yeah. you know? Like, it doesn't sync up. All I see is this goddamn chainsaw and a golf club at the door. The acting, too, in this movie is <laughs> another, another planet. This is on another fucking scale of badness that <laughs> yeah. no one has ever seen before. Like, there is bad. And then there's things bad. Yeah. yeah. As far as acting goes. I was only trying to ease the tension. I I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. They, I think they fucking tried to be bad. Because I don't know if you can even naturally be this bad. Holy Christ. <laughs> it's like the... And the dialogue to boot, like, doesn't help the matter. The, the <laughs> dialogue is so bad and nonsensical. The dialogue doesn't move the plot. It bogs things down in the worst way. Don tells Doug that story about that comic book he read, and it's super long. Yeah. Like, it doesn't amount to doesn't, anything. It doesn't mean anything. It's like the... <laughs> 
It's like they were trying very hard to make this an hour and a half length film when they only really had 30 minutes yeah. worth of ideas. Super dragging scenes out and they're all looking at those paintings. Looking and... through the cupboards. Like the, the pacing this movie. Like what? Like half the movies these guys sitting around at the kitchen table drinking. Yeah, yeah. Just and... talking about <laughs> random shit. Pacing is so bad where you're just like... Again, that guy looking in those cupboards, turning on the lamps. There's like a whole scene dedicated to this guy turning on lamps. Yeah, and then when they're looking around with the <laughs> flashlight, and then when he's cleaning that flashlight, super long, where he's like twisting and like cleaning it, like, <laughs> you don't need that. And that, that brings us to the sound effects in this movie. <laughs> it's like, because they didn't shoot sound on set, every sound effect had to be recorded after the fact but they didn't record every sound effect after yeah. they like pick and chose like okay well, well we'll do some foley effects here so there's scenes where they're, they're like destroying the monsters and it's no sound no audio at all they're like yeah. hitting the thing and it's silent then he goes to go clean off the flashlight <laughs> with some paper towel <laughs> yeah <laughs> And it's super long, dude. super loud, and super long. <laughs> what the? Oh, they're torturing that guy in Doctor Lucas's office or whatever. Yeah, it's just some guy going. Yes. And the editing for this movie, it, it's it's horrible. <laughs> the movie is so chopped up. There's no continuity with this film whatsoever. It jumps around from scene to scene. You're constantly wondering what's going on. You got no clue, like... No clue what the story itself even is. What they're supposed to do next. Or where they're going. Random shots of that uh, Doug guy just sitting there going... Yeah, and laughing. The motives, like we're getting deep here now. <laughs> the motives of the characters make no sense. Especially with Doug, like, yeah. so his wife dies. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> you know, okay. from, from these bugs coming out of her. And then he's just sitting at the table drinking. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, joking around with his brother. Yeah. And scaring him and everything. Like, didn't your wife just die? Don't you care at all? And then there's that one line, my wife is dead. <laughs> my wife's dead. <laughs> And it's all late. Too. Yeah, it's like, ugh. Like I get it. You're stressed out. You need a drink, but you just wouldn't sit around and shoot the shit and keep drinking while there's bugs that are killing your dog and your wife. <laughs> Why are they stuck at the house? Well, they even? explain it very poorly. <laughs> they do explain it very poorly. They're like, we'll get attacked in the forest by bears or rattlesnakes. <laughs> The next town is nine miles away. We'll never make yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Can't do too much. Can't make it through those woods. So before we get to the trash or treasure verdict of things, we have to talk about whether or not we think that this was intentionally done as a bad movie or if it's just that bad. And it's 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 so bad where... It, it has to be a joke on yeah. us, right? This it has, has to, like an Andy Kaufman style, I got one on you. Yeah, that's what I think. I think that they purposely made this so bad. But it also on the other side of it, it's like... No one's come out and said that. No, nobody, nobody has. But also when you think about it, it's like... How can you possibly be that bad? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you you can't like, be, it's so it's hard. I don't know. I, I kind of think that they intentionally went out to make a bad movie. I, I think that it's on purpose. It, it has to it be has on to purpose. Be. There's no way that it's this bad naturally. Yeah. Because we can't be. Yeah, we've seen a lot of really horrible movies and they're nowhere near this bad. Yeah. Like, this is just another level. Like, we've made movies in our basement when we were kids that are better than yes, this. Yes, we really have. And we were like in junior high. Yeah, yeah, we really have. <laughs> so. so it's like, if you even just compare that, you know that they're taking a piss somewhere I, I think they I hope they are. If not, kudos to these guys. This thing, we watched it on Tubi, 
And I couldn't believe the amount of commercials yeah. that played throughout this movie. So, like, those guys are still making money off of this horrible <laughs> piece of shit movie. Uh huh. And good for them. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know? for what it is, <laughs> good yeah. Good for them. Yeah. It's so bad that it's, like, bad, but in a good way. It's geniusly bad. Yeah, like it's, yeah. Like, it's geniusly bad. <laughs> so, is it trash or treasure? Oh, man, I'm still going to say it's trash. Only for the, the fact that I'll probably never bother yeah. watching it again. I'm going to say it's treasure. <laughs> yeah. I've seen it three times now. <laughs> <laughs> I always oh. enjoy it. I always laugh my ass off. <laughs> my gut hurts by the end of this movie. And that's, you know, there's entertainment value there right. with that. And it's like, hey, my hat's off to these guys that made the worst movie of all time that we're still talking about. They're still getting residuals from it, I'm sure. Yeah. These are the type of people I'd love to have a conversation with and be like, how did you do it? Did, did Was this for real? <laughs> yeah. Or are you guys pulling our leg? We just watched Exorcist 2 again. Because we've uh. seen it before, but we just watched it again last week, and that movie is terrible. Laughingly, like, the same thing, hilariously bad. Like, But that's it it, a bad, it's bad, bad, bad. Yeah, it doesn't go below that to where it turns back yeah, and the pendulum and, swings yeah, so hard yeah, and where it's where it's a good again you yeah. know so it's like this you know there's something to this yeah <laughs> so if you haven't seen things you have to watch at least once before you leave this planet because <laughs> yeah. it is a trip then you can say i've watched the worst movie ever made and it was good yeah <laughs> And until next time, keep drinking.